Tell us about the One Acre Fund mm -hmm. as an example. So One Acre Fund is a really inspiring social enterprise in Africa. And what they're doing is working with smallholder farmers who are some of the most you know, poor and you know, uh, disadvantaged people on the planet. They live on small plots of land and you know, try to eke out a living on these small farms. And what Acre Fund is trying to do is help them improve their livelihoods by improving their farm yields. And they do this by providing them seed and fertilizer, training them on farming techniques, connecting them to markets, and so forth. Um, and they've been incredibly successful. They've helped more than 600,000 farmers on, on average increase their incomes by 50%. And how do they get there? Um, it, it's interesting. It was an early failure that helped them develop their process of innovation. Um, and so in the early days, at one point, they um, saw an opportunity to add a new potential crop to um, the, their offerings, um, and that was passion fruit. It looked like there was a good market for it. It looked like pe um, farmers could sell it for a good amount of money. So um, there was a buyer. And so they rolled it out to their entire farmer network. Um, and it didn't go as they expected. It turned out that it was really hard to cultivate passion fruit effect well, and so the farm yields were much lower than they projected. Um, and it was expensive to transport to the markets, and they weren't able to fetch as high a price as they thought. And so overall, it was a failure. And they spent a lot of time and money as well as, you know, put farmers' lives um, on the line in, in doing this. And so it was a wake-up call for them. And what they recognized was, you know, we, we can't do it this way. You know, we need to start smaller. And so they put together their, their process for innovation, which involves, you know, very much in line with Lean Impact. You know, they start out with small experiments with just a few farmers to see, you know, whether something will work the way they expect. And then, you know, kind of refine it and improve that. And then gradually tear up and stage um, their rollout. So by the time they go out to the whole network, they have pretty high confidence that they've worked out the kinks and know that something's going to work.